everybody. Welcome to Delta Flodge Outdoors. Today I'm sitting here recording with my two sons, Trapper Craig and Hunter Craig. It's It could go one of two ways, either to be okay or to be extremely bad, because you never know what you're going to get. Um, they're, I'm excited about having them sit here and record with me. They've never done it, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, here's the oldest one. Why don't you introduce yourself? Um, hello, I'm Trapper Craig. I like fishing, and I like playing with Legos. All right, Hunter, come over here. Hi, I'm Hunter Craig. I like hunting and playing football. All right. So that's Trapper and Hunter. They're 11 and 9. Trapper will be 12 in July. Hunter will be 10 in September. Tra <clears throat> Trapper's always been more of a fisherman when it comes to outdoors. And they, like, they both like going camping, but Trapper's more of the fisherman and Hunter's more of the hunt hunter, obviously. Um, Skylar didn't join us today. She's probably down for a nap, you know, moody three-year-olds. Um, so... Trapper, Trapper's background, like I said, he fishes a little bit. His personal best is right around seven pound bass. I'm gonna try to find the picture and add it into this where y'all could see. He caught it July of probably three, four years ago out of one of our ponds in North Louisiana on my wife's family's land. We call it Honey's Pond. And um, that was just, that's his personal best when it comes to catching a bass. And he, was, he liked it before then. I think he's really hooked after that. He got more into it. And um, <clears throat> then he's not really much into hunting. But like I said, he does like to uh, go camping. He does a little bit. He's a hell of a Lego builder. I'll give him that. Um, so, Trapper, why don't you talk a little bit about the, you've, you've got the saltwater fishing. We live in South Louisiana. What would you think about that? Uh, saltwater fishing is pretty cool. I do remember uh, I caught a red, uh, about caught, caught a big red fish one time, but it took my hook off with it. And you caught, you caught a couple small ones that were just of legal size, which is like 16 inches down there. He did catch a couple like that. But he hooked into a bull red, and uh, it, it it he was using like little Zebco 202 or something. I don't remember because he wasn't. He okay. sees 11. Like, he was about seven. Seven, right? Yeah. Back in uh, Grand Isle. Yeah, Grand Isle side of LA one on the side of the road. Then um, we hadn't done that in a few years since we moved to Oklahoma. We fished. I remember that was. We've. I remember that was the same place I my. Uh, he taught me how to, to uh, raise your arm up and down to get an two or to honk at you. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, when you were even smaller. Um, we haven't made that trip since we live in Oklahoma now in several years, but um, that's something we'll have to try to reintroduce and actually film and show like what, some of the stuff we come from. Uh, Hunter, why don't you slide over here? This is Hunter's helping in. And um, so, like I said, Hunter's nine. He likes to play football and he uh, is more of our deer hunter. He's killed one deer with a crossbow last year in Edmond. And, um, I pretty shot a few deer, quite a few deer. Yeah, he had, had opportunity, he had opportunities this Sun year. Phone. He had opportunities this year, and we got busted uh, opening day. Then, um, then the deer didn't cooperate on a couple other trips, like here on our own place. They were supposed to come out to our right. They came out to our left. Then they were supposed to come out to our left. They came out to our right. We had a little spike, and I told him it was on him if he wanted to shoot it. And um, it got within, we were sitting on the ground with like up on two rocks. It got within like 20 feet of us before it decided that, hey, they might not be, you know, big rocks sitting there. And um, so, he, like I said, he's killed one. He, there was, he could have made some shots this year. I didn't let him because I wasn't, I wasn't confident in his abilities. But actually after shooting some with him, after the fact with his pellet rifle and everything, I made the mistake of not letting him shoot. He could have made the shot. Uh, so you've killed the one deer, right, Hunter? I, I killed the one deer. Was, and then um, this year you you played football for your, for your first year and mm -hmm. everything. Enjoyed that. So, um, But next year, like, we're building a big box stand here on the place and everything, and um, we've got it set up to um, hopefully get – shit. So, sorry, technical difficulty. And, um, I wasn't paying attention, let it – the end credits come up before the show. So like we're saying, we're actually building our box and we didn't work on it this weekend. We've um, got some pictures of some information of our stuff as we're building it. And uh, we, we'll we get it up and going before too long. Hunter and Trapper's been helping on that. Um, tra Trapper, Hunter, uh, you excited about to get into, like you got to try your saddle out. I bought them a custom gear modifications, pygmy rattler saddle for Christmas. And he, um, and um, 
This is the first time we got to try it out was yesterday. There was a short on our YouTube channel about it. And uh, then I've got a seven-minute video of him actually climbing and coming back down and everything on one of his first climbs, so he's learning it. Hunter, why don't you talk to us about using the Pygmy Rattler by custom gear modifications? So, you, you like it? Yeah, so it just kind of, when you get on there, it's just, it's just fun. You feel like you're just. You feel, you feel safe, but yeah. You feel, you feel safe, feel, but it's, you feel comfortable and safe, and but you also, it's a great way of hunting. I think it'll be really useful because again, the deer, the tree stands, they are so heavy and you have to find a tree that you can actually put it on to where it's not too crowded. But with the saddle, you can mount it on any tree. It's really light and you can move way more than you can in the tree stands. So if the deer is coming at you from 12 and you can just turn around on the backside of the tree to where it doesn't see you. And I think it's really cool. I can't wait to use it to go hunting. So you, you want to, you want to spend a little more time, a little better at it. And you, you like you asked me earlier yeah. before we started recording about doing it. Um, we're gonna try and get into it. So someday let them do a little climbing. I'm actually um, I've one stick for the last couple years, and um, I'll probably start repelling this year. I hadn't been repelling. Uh, I was looking at stuff from Eastern Woods because I actually had them on the podcast a long time ago, and. Um, so we'll set that up. I'll probably, he'll probably go to, once he starts using it fully, he'll one, he'll one stick and repel with a one stick and eighter like I do. But I also have some um, um, muddy climbing sticks that I'll use with like a four to five step eighter for presets on our private land here. But for like public, we run the, I run my ultimate one stick with a three step eighter and I'm gonna start repelling this year. Um, Hunter is to keep learning and practicing and that's where we're at we just wanted to get a little short run down and let y'all actually finally kind of kind of meet the boys on that are behind it and the future of like I talk about taking kids hunting and being the future of the outdoors I've got two and then my daughter coming up we'll try and get her out here on one one day I don't know if we'll how successful we'll be at that and um, so with that Trapper and Hunter tell everybody later, later. bye all right so I'm going to wind this one down. It was a little short podcast. We're going to just let y'all hear from the, you know, let y'all kind of meet the boys so, per se and talk about what their interests are. And like I said, Hunter getting into saddle hunting and we're excited about next year or well, this year coming up. So y'all stay tuned. Julius Craig, Delta Flodge Outdoors.